Hey guys, if you're having a lot of problems running Stadia right here on your Mac, whether you guys are getting that black screen or it's just lagging too much, well, there's one way around that. Obviously, I assume you guys tested out your Wi-Fi speed, everything's good. Maybe you're using an Ethernet cable to make things faster. Anyways, besides those obvious things, we're gonna go right into Stadia right now. And we're just gonna go to Stadia.google, there we go. We're gonna run that. So obviously, you guys have to run this using Chrome. So right now you guys may be getting a black screen maybe or it's just lagging either way what fixes and especially for that black screen which really sucks is going right up here if we zoom in a little bit more right after chrome you will see file under file our third option will be this okay so just run a new incognito window so let's open that up and at this point go right into stadia.google.com we're gonna have to sign into it. Once you signed into it, then obviously you guys can start playing. However, that's not the only fix. That's one of the fixes. So if you guys are still having problems, most likely the back black screen will get fixed by doing this. However, the lag can be fixed other ways. So we're gonna go into it right now. Under your Apple logo on the top left-hand side, that would be the easiest way for you guys to get there. Go right into system preferences, which is your second option. Once you guys bring this up, I want you guys to choose security and privacy. So that's down here. You will see security and privacy. So let's just tap right there. Then we're going to see these options here. So before we touch anything, let's just click on this lock, which is on the bottom left hand side. Just click on that lock. We have to unlock this in order to make any changes. So make sure to do that before we do anything. And from here, usually we don't have to turn off our firewall. There's specific things that we do have to let in through our firewall, but just to make things easier for you guys, just turn it off for now. Just as long as you guys are playing Stadia, just turn it off. And I do suggest turning back on afterwards because firewall is important. Anyways, right now we just turned that off. Under privacy, something else that helps out is also turning off location services. So we're gonna just turn this off. And at this point, we can just leave that there and go back to Stadia. So right here is Google Chrome. We can go ahead and play. So at this point, you guys shouldn't see any black screens or any lag happening. So what I'm gonna do is with my controller, hopefully it's linked up, there we go. I'm gonna go ahead and just show you guys that I won't get a black screen right now with Destiny or any game for that matter. Usually I've been getting more complaints about Destiny, getting that black screen, but it's really any game whatsoever that you guys try to play. You will see this black screen and it doesn't go anywhere, right? But as long as you guys turned off your firewall, you guys turned off that location services, you guys have incognito. Incognito does fix the thing usually for sure. So even before you guys turn off all that stuff, most likely it's gonna work just by doing that. So right now we're gonna press A to get started. Um, sometimes, yes, your controller does disconnect. So what I suggest is just actually disconnecting it, your USB and then connecting it back up again. If um, that doesn't work, then just fully turn off your controller and then turn it back on. Other than that, it should be working. Also, a trick that happens with the controller, I know you guys have those problems. Sometimes it just doesn't want to hook up. Just press all the buttons on it. <laughs> I know that sounds kind of weird, but if you press all the buttons on it, it kind of sends out that signal that you're connected, you're good to go, and you guys can go ahead and play. Of course, to play with Mac, we still need this USB. We can't play wireless yet. However, we should later on. Anyways, right now we're gonna pick Hunter. I'm just gonna run the game so you guys can see that right now it should be working, should be working just fine. With any Mac, this should be working as long as you guys have Google Chrome. Obviously, it's better for you guys to have the latest version. If you guys don't see any updates on your App Store or in System Preferences, usually it's in your App Store, everything that has to do with software. So if you guys see any updates there, make those updates happen most likely you won't but some of you might if you haven't updated your mac in a while so at this point i'm just gonna wait until it looks for enough people to play with so we should be good to go um you guys shouldn't be able to hear anything because i didn't turn on my sound i'm gonna slightly turn it on so you guys can hear the game itself so there we go 
Anyways, if you guys are still having problems with this, let me know. Let me know what you've tried first of all, and then let me know what the problem is that you see, whether it's a black screen or just extreme lag. Like I mentioned, for extreme lag, just make sure it's not your Wi-Fi speed, okay? So just go test out your speed. You guys can just Google test speed internet <laughs> and then just run over those tests. It's usually the second option that you guys have to pick. It's pretty good. Um, there's other ways that you guys can test it out. There's the official one from Stadia itself that you guys can use in order to test out whether your internet speed is good enough to run Stadia. Usually for most of you, it should be good enough because Stadia doesn't require much. And as you guys can see, I'm not lagging. Usually what I've seen in the start of games is a little bit of lag and then it catches up and then you're good to go. Or every time I respawn, I usually lag just one second and then again, I'm good to go. If your internet speed does drop at any time, then yes, you guys will see lag. If you guys are experiencing a lot of lag, I would always try that ethernet cable. It does make a big difference depending where your router is. Sometimes there's those interferences that you guys get with your Wi-Fi signal, so it won't be perfect. So as you guys can see, this is running okay. I'm just gonna play a little bit so you get an idea of what lag you should get and what lag you shouldn't get when you're playing this. When I first started playing Stadia, for sure, I got a lot of lag because I didn't have all these settings turned on. I just ran Google, Chrome, inspected everything to work that way that it should work <laughs> i shouldn't have to do all these steps in order to get this to work on my mac but it worked out i'm still trying to get a definite fix from google so i've been in contact with stadia and um, seeing what we can do in order to fix this we'll see if i get a something something that will make this work for sure then i'll let you guys know for now, this is the only way that I could get out of the black screen plus that extreme lag that I was getting. Right now, this is very playable. So I can finally make or start making some videos, some more videos on Stadia. Because I do have some, but not that many because I've been getting so much lag. And I really wanted to do those on right here, my Mac, and not have to use my Google Chromecast. That, that actually works perfect on my TV. I rarely get any lag. Um, whenever I got any lag on my TV, it was just in the start of the games. Other than that, I wouldn't get that much lag from Google Chromecast. But on my Mac, I always had that problem. And lately, I've been getting that black screen, which right now I was able to fix it by doing the steps that I just showed you. Once again, I will be doing an updated video if I see another way. Somebody did mention that downloading Google Chrome Canary helped out. So they got it to work just by doing that. I tried that didn't work for me however hey maybe it will work for you dudes so try google canary google chrome canary sorry and that may just may work for you dudes so make sure to try that out that's again google chrome canary it's uh by google chrome so it's an official google chrome web browser so download it from google itself it shouldn't be from anybody else anytime you guys download any software make sure to download it from the official websites I wouldn't go to any other third parties in order to get those. Anyways, guys, that would be it for this video. Let me know if this helped you guys out. My internet's kind of dropping right now, so I'm lagging quite a bit, as you guys can see by the screen. But that would be it for this video. If you guys have any comments, questions, you guys can write down here in the comments area. Don't forget to subscribe and rate. Thank you.